done. So this is a video on how I just managed to organize myself throughout the years, especially during back to school time when it gets so stressful. And I don't know, I really do like school and, and I really do love going back to school, but I mainly love the shopping part. So what I usually do is I fill out these papers and these are some random papers I got from the dollar store. And I write down back to school what I need. So I do a back to school clothes, a back to school school supplies, a back to school locker supplies, and then um, on a separate piece of paper, I write where I can get what and for what price, and I'll talk about that later. But first of all, so for back to school clothing, I usually look through my closet and be like, okay, what do I really need, not what do I want? So, you know, I have the basics like basic tank tops, slouchy sweaters, slouchy cardigans. So right now is a really good time to go buy sweaters, v-necks, um, jackets, boots, because they're all on sale because, you know, it's still summer. And things that I feel that I'm going to need and things that are too small for me or I don't have or that I just really want. So that's kind of what I do and I just scramble down and then I usually take this shopping with me and whenever I get what I want, I just check it off. Next for school supplies, um, since I am a sophomore in high school now, I do know a bit of what I kind of need what I kind of don't. So I kind of just wrote the basic things that I need for high school and if you want, I can write these down below for you guys. So these are just kind of basic things that I feel like I've only used last year because I bought a lot of things last year and none of them got used, like a graphic calculator, sticky notes, um, orange pencils, I don't even know. So I just kind of keep everything that I feel like I need right here and I buy some extras and everything. And then for my locker essential, it's just the things that I found that I really I really wanted during the school during the school day. So whether it was a nail file or a nail polish remover or some perfume or even some gum, I just write it all down here and then I go buy it and then I just check it off once I have it. And once again, if you want me to write below what I have for my locker essentials, then I will um, put that below, but I am buying these things. I'm going to do a haul for you guys so you can see what I actually got. And then for the how I buy things is I usually go online shopping first. I know not all the stores have what they show online, but usually a rough majority of them do except for every time I want that damn store. So I kind of just started off with makeup so far and I wrote Ulta at the top and this is just kind of the stuff that I've been looking through the Ulta website I feel like I'm going to really enjoy. So I kind of have like blotting papers and um, lipsticks, some Revlon cream shadows, some dry shampoos, just things like that that I feel like are going to be really useful throughout the year. So why do I do this kind of thing? It's because my parents usually they take us on a huge shopping spree, a huge shopping spree before school, and it's kind of where we just buy all our clothes then and all our things we want because because everything is such a better price when it's back to school instead of you buying something in October. So there's usually all these back to school shopping and usually they do their makeup on sale too and their clothes and their shoes and everything's on sale so we just kind of stock up until around Christmas time we actually sometimes buy our Christmas presents now like I will go to a store and I see a cute shirt for my brother and I'll buy it and I'll save it for you know six months later and I'll give it to him then but these are just the best times to buy things because everything is such a great price and if you and if you feel like your city does not have the best selection of everything you want, try to convince your parents if you can go to the city over or even the state over or the province over or the country over. I'm not sure where you guys live. But I know for us, um, this year we are going back to California because we want to go visit our old house. So we're driving from you know Vancouver down to Seattle, Oregon, and then California. So Cali is going to be kind of more... Um, looking around but then in Oregon since there's no tax or anything we're gonna go crazy shopping there and um so why you should be organized is just because writing everything down throughout the couple of months before back to school shopping is just so helpful because you'll end up going okay here's a scenario imagine it's November 8th it's a cold fall morning and you're preparing the cutest outfit you have these army pants on and then you have this cute cardigan over top of it with the cutest necklace you don't have shoes, so you wish you would have bought the combat boots back in October, back in um, August when you saw them. 
but you never thought that, oh yeah, I might need combat boots, so you never bought them. Or let's say you're in class and you're about to present something, and but you got really oily. So instead of having blotting papers in your bag when you should have bought them for back to school, you have to now go up in front of stage with this oily face and you feel icky and everything. I don't know. For me, I just prefer being really prepared for school. Um, it is, you know, a long, you are at school for a long time and a couple days a week. A lot of days a week actually so showing all these things I don't want to be like oh yeah it's all that buy but it's kind of like I buy all this stuff and then I stop shopping until the next time we go which is usually around January I'm not sure unless we're going on vacation then we buy stuff earlier but this is just a really nice stock because you have everything that you will ever need so you just make all the room and you don't have to go keep going shopping and everything I don't know, I just find it really convenient I really hope this video kind of helped you guys on trying to figure out what you might need for high school they're just my basic tips and tricks so I'll actually go through everything I have on my list because why the hell not so for school supplies, I have HP2 pencils, mechanical pencils, lead, blue pens, red pens, black pens, colored pens, notebooks, 7 times 7, which means I need 7, sharpies, fine liner, ruler, erasers, sharpies, ooh, I wrote that twice, sticky notes, line paper, calculator, pencil case, graph paper, 7 binders, pencil sharpener, mirror, highlighters. So that's all I kind of need for now. And then for my locker essentials, I need blotting paper, lotion, deodorant, tissues, lip gloss, waterproof mascara, concealer, extra pencils, extra pens, extra paper, pencil crayons, crayons, flashcards, dictionary, base oil, perfume, $5, and some $5 and change, nail polish, nail file, nail polish remover, granola bar, water bottle, reading book, and gum. So the back to school clothes that I'm thinking about getting, these are just the things that I feel that I'm going to need throughout the year. So they are basic tanks, slouchy sweaters, slouchy cardigans, combat boots, foundation, cream eyeshadow, leggings, socks, plain long sleeve tees, sweaters, plaid shirts, scarves, hairbrush, powder, concealer, dressy shirts, um, sweater dresses, chevron, anything, sweatpants, yoga crops, white sneakers, dangly earrings, maroon lipstick, bracelet, and belts. But yeah, this was kind of my video. I know I rambled on for a really long time, so thanks for watching it for this long. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder and a thumbs up for this video, and I shall talk to you later. Bye!